a blessed feast of the most holy name of Jesus. This is Sister Carmela of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Jesus left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villages teaching. The claim to know oftentimes reveals only the depth of ignorance. Only the one who has the full picture of every reality can claim to know. Indeed, only God really knows. What we do have are perspectives, points of view, partial and imperfect. This little knowledge truly becomes dangerous when it is absolutized and used to measure and judge others. This is the sort of thing that Jesus experiences in today's Gospel. We, readers of Mark's Gospel, who have been informed by the author about Jesus' identity from the very first verse of his account, witness in this episode an arrogant display of presumption, ignorance in the guise of knowledge. It is a pity that those who have been physically closest to Jesus and could have been blessed by his messianic ministry blocked the blessing by their prejudices and unbelief let us pray. Lord Jesus, keep us aware of the limitations of whatever knowledge we have, that it may not be a cause of pride which stunts the growth of faith. Amen. <music> 